Thanks Trade Coffee for sponsoring this video. Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. A couple of weeks ago on the old cookbook show, we did a very simple plain pot roast. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I really like a pot roast where what you taste is the roast. But it got me thinking about other pot roasts that I've had in the past and one that I kind of want to try to replicate is one that's based on coffee and dried ancho chilies. So I've got, um, I've got a nice heavy pot here. I've got some oil heating up in the bottom. I'm going to salt and pepper the roast. Now in order to pull this off, as I've said on the show several times, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. And so if you're like me, you end up in the grocery store looking at all the bags of coffee and wondering which one is right. So for this project, I turned to my friends at Trade Coffee to find out which coffee would go best in this dish. So here's the deal. You take the quiz and you answer questions about how you like your coffee and Trade will curate matches just to you. Then you choose the frequency and it will appear at your doorstep fresh from the roaster. And after the coffee arrives, you can rate it so Trade can hone in on exactly what you're looking for. With Trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters. Glenn and Friends viewers will get 30% off their first bag of coffee when they sign up. This offer is valid for the first 100 people who click the link in the description. Just take the quiz and the promotion will automatically apply. And free shipping is also included. Our first two bags of coffee showed up at our door within five days of being roasted. That's fresh. Now that the coffee is sorted and I've got the roast seasoned on all sides, the oil is hot. We're just going to brown off the roast just to start building some of those roasty, roasty brown flavors that you want. Now, you just want to start the browning process kind of on all sides of the roast. And it doesn't need to be terribly dark. I don't want to take away from the importance of this browning step. It is an important step, but I often feel that it is overemphasized in a lot of recipes to the point where I see people burning the meat rather than browning the meat, um, or they end up boiling the meat, which doesn't really add anything to it. And in the instance of this recipe, we're adding enough other flavors and it's going to go in the oven for long enough that those reactions are going to happen anyway. We're going to build those flavors. So I think I've got this browned quite enough. I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm just going to pull it over here so it's easier to work with. Now into this pot we want to build all of the other flavors. So the first thing I have is some stock. And you could use chicken stock, you could use vegetable stock, you could use beef stock, pork stock. Um, of course if you've watched this channel at all in the past you'll know where I stand on the importance and what stocks I would use first. Today I'm using chicken stock because it's homemade, I've got it, it's plentiful, and um, it's going to work really well in this. Next in is some of our homemade apple cider vinegar. And that's going to bring a real nice tang to this dish. And then of course the coffee, and I want about a cup of coffee in this pot. Next in is the Marmite. Um, I put this in pretty much anything I do with beef. And I had, um, I had some people contact me from the UK saying, why don't I use Bovril? And apparently in the UK, Bovril comes in the same sort of form, um, same kind of formulation, and they think that it's better than Marmite. But here in Canada, um, that style of Bovril isn't readily available, so I'm going to stick to the Marmite. Put that in. And the next thing in is this ancho chili. And so I've pulled the stem off and removed most of the seeds. Now normally um, you would soak this in hot water and then chop it up. I'm not going to do that today. It's going to go into this pot. This pot's going to go into the oven. It's going to cook for four or five hours in the liquid. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and cut it up right over the pot. Next in is the veg. And this is the classic mirepoix, uh, onions, carrots, and celery. And I've left them in big chunks. I like big chunks in my pot roast. So nestle the onions around the outside and then just do the same with the carrots and the celery. Lid on and into a very low oven for five, six hours. 
See you at supper time. Hey, Jules. Hey, Glenn. Hey, friends. So another pot roast. I like pot roast. Uh, this time, it's coffee and ancho chilies. So get a, oh. get a couple if forks there, and we'll. That that's interesting because that'll. Uh, the, Coffee will bring out the um, 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 umami yeah, it will, flavor. It'll it'll bring out a lot of stuff from the bottom, a lot of the underlying flavors. It'll bring to the top. And I'm gonna guess it's probably not gonna taste like coffee at all. I wonder how much the peppers will add to it too. Mm. The beef is perfect. You know, as a as a beef piece of meat goes, it's perfect. Um, it's interesting. The pepper has a very light. Influence yeah. uh, the coffee as well. It's a very lovely, pleasant mm -hmm. flavor that mm -hmm. it's brought out. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. How is it with the carrots? A little bit more heat in the carrots. The carrots have soaked in a little bit more flavor than yeah, the roast. Our purple carrots. The last of those are the last of the carrots from our garden this oh, year. Oh, wow. Yep. Um, but the so the sauce in the bottom of the pot. Mm. Um, You could turn this into you could turn it into a gravy. You could put this on the stove, yeah, uh, and thicken it up either with cornstarch or flour. How you thicken? What are you thinking though? Really is where I'm going. Oh, you want me to just taste it? Taste it, because I, I tasted it earlier, and it's got an amazing flavor, but it is hot. Oh, is that where all the heat went? All mm -hmm. the oils are still. Yeah. But that flavor, that flavor to me is. Is really good, like the. It does. It does. It's got a. Uh, <clears throat> a it's delayed got an, response, it's, but it's yes. got an afterheat. Yes, you, you it start does. To feel the tingling in the back <clears throat> of your throat, and I only put one dried chili in, All right? So you know we're Canadian. Um, put as many as you like. Yeah, it, and it's not. I'm not. I'm not saying it's overly hot. Oh no. But it's got that. It's, it's got a little. It's got a bite. It's got oh. a bite. It's got something in there, and so the coffee is working with um, the vinegar. I put. Uh, our mm, own apple cider vinegar. That's the other flavor in there that that's, I've, that's I was the, trying to figure yeah. out what there was the pickle flavor to it. I'm like, you didn't put in a pickled pepper. The so vinegar. that that brightness from the vinegar mm. and the brightness from the coffee. So I got the coffee from drinktrade.com. Thank you very much, guys. And you fill out the little form, and they tell you what coffee is going to bring out or what coffee is going to give you the flavor that you're looking for. Okay. And I think that coffee. Went really well with this roast. It does go really it well. It does go really well with this roast. Again, a very simple pot roast, but some pretty complex flavors going on here. Give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.